In this section, we'll be learning how to solve multi-step equations. Um, up until now, we've been solving equations that can simply um, be solved by applying a addition, subtraction, or multiplication, or division. Just one step, and we can isolate our variable, and we can solve for our variable. Now, we're going to look at problems that take more than one step. So let's jump into a few. Let's say we have 5 times x plus 2 equals 11. Okay, here we have multiple steps because our variable is buried inside the parentheses. So let's just use what we've learned. Let's start off by distributing, using the distributive property, this 5 into our expression. Because um, what we ultimately want to do is extract this variable outside of these parentheses and then we can isolate it and have x on one side and everything else on the other side. That's the ultimate goal here. So what do we have? We have 5 times x, which is 5x, plus 5 times 2, which is 10, equals 11. Okay. Next, uh, let's go ahead and subtract 10 from both sides. This is going to take care of the plus 10 on this side. Remember, we're keeping our variable on this side and moving everything else to the left side. So, or to the right side, excuse me. So plus 10 minus 10 will cancel out. We're left with 5x equals 11 minus 10 is 1. And we have one more step. Um, our variable is being multiplied by 5. Well, we learned that when we see this, when we're multiplying a whole number with our variable, we can simply divide by the coefficient, by the whole number, to and, and that division undoes the multiplication. And whatever we do on one side, we have to do on the other side. That keeps the equality of our equation. The fives cancel out. We're left with x on the left side, and x equals one fifth. Okay, and always remember when we're dealing with equations, we can plug our value for our equation back in and plug it back into our original equation. We can see if this is indeed a valid solution. So always check these um, after you view this video. Um, let's move on to the next one. We have one half times the following expression, 3z minus 1, and this equals minus 3 eighths. Okay, once again, we have our variable buried inside our parentheses, so we want to extract that. So what we're going to start off by doing is, that using the distributive property, we're going to multiply each term in the expression by 1 half. Okay, so doing so will give us 1 half times 3z is... 3 halves z, or 3 over 2 z, minus 1 half times 1 is just simply 1 half. And then we still have our minus 3 eighths on the other side. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and move this 1 half over to the other side. Um, minus 1 half, we can do so by adding a 1 half, positive 1 half, to both sides. This cancels out. We're left with our 3 halves z equals, well, let's go ahead and rewrite this step. We have a minus 3 8, so we want to rewrite 1 half with a common denominator of 8 so that we can add these two rational numbers. Um, 1 half, a positive 1 half is the same thing as 4 eighths. We skipped a step here just to save us some time, um, but we should know how to do this. We already know how to do this. So let's go ahead and rewrite. 3 over 2z equals, on this side we have a positive 4 eighths and a minus 3 eighths, which gives us a positive 1 eighth. And then we have one step left to do. We have a rational number multiplied by our variable, so what we're going to do is multiply by the reciprocal of this. So we're going to multiply 3 over 2z by 2 over 3. 2 over 3 times... 3 over 2z. We're going to do the same thing to the other side as well. Whatever we do to one side, we have to do the other side. Times 2 over 3. These fractions cancel, which leaves us z equals, we're multiplying two fractions here, so numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. 1 times 2 is 2. 8 times 3 is 24. Now we always want to leave our answer in simplest form. We can extract, uh, we can factor out a 2 out of the top and the bottom, which gives us a 1 
over 12. And that's our answer. Let's do a couple more of these. Um, we already know how to do these. Um, a multi-step equation is simply um, the equations that we've been solving. Just we have a couple steps instead of just one. So let's get some more practice in. Let's say we have 2 over 5 multiplied by the expression minus 4 minus 5 over 6 x and this equals 3 okay once again we see our variable buried inside the parentheses so we're going to distribute this 2 over 5 into the expression and this is going to give us 2 fifths minus uh, multiplied by minus 4 is a minus 8 over 5 minus 2 fifths times 5 over 6 x is 10 over 30 x we're just multiplying numerator numerator denominator and denominator and then we still have our 3 on the other side okay uh, next we want to move our minus 5, 8 over 5 over to the other side we can do so by adding both sides adding 8 over 5 to both sides because plus 8 over 5 and minus 8 over 5 will cancel. We'll do that in a second. We got to do the same thing over here. Okay, these are going to cancel. And we can actually, we can simplify this as we go. Um, 10 over 30 is the same thing as 1 over 3. So let's rewrite that in the same step. We have a minus 1 over 3x. Simplifying as we go will make our calculations much easier down the road. 3 plus 8 over 5. Let's go ahead and rewrite 3 with a denominator of 5. So 3 is the same thing as 15 over 5 plus 8 over 5. Now we can simply just add our fractions in our next step. We still have our minus 1 over 3 minus 1 over 3x equals 15 plus 8 is 23 we have a common denominator of 5. And our last step is, well, we have our variable being multiplied by a rational number. So just like up here, um, we can simply multiply by the reciprocal. Now we want to multiply by the negative reciprocal because we want to solve for a positive x and not a minus x. So be sure we're doing the, the correct, multiplying by the correct number. So minus 3 over 1 is what we're going to, the reciprocal we're going to multiply by. We still have our minus 1 over 3x. And we do the same thing on the other side as well. Times a minus 3 over 1. Okay. This cancels with this. We have our x left. And over here we're multiplying two fractions. Positive and a negative give us a negative. 23 times 3 gives us... 69 and 5 times 1 is 5. x equals a minus 69 over 5. Okay, I think we're getting the handle of us. Let's do a couple more. We have 2x, our next example, we have 2x plus 4 divided by 8. And this equals, let's say, 9. Okay, so remember, we want to get x to one side and everything else on the other side. Um, we can start off, we can actually make this a little easier um, with some simplifying. All three terms in the fraction on the left side have a factor of 2. So we can go ahead and pull that out. Let's go ahead and pull out a factor of 2. All, all three of these numbers are even, so we know they have a fa common factor of 2. So this becomes 1, this becomes 2, and this becomes 4. Um, when we're factoring out a 2, we're basically dividing each term by 2. Okay? So let's rewrite this. We have x, or 1x, simply written as x, plus 2, divided by 4, equals 9. Okay. Now, we have a, num we have a numerator that contains our variable. So what we want to do is we want to get rid of this fraction bar. So how do you suppose we get rid of this fraction bar? Well, we can get rid of it if we have x plus 2 over 1 because that's essentially we drop the 1 as the denominator and we just have x plus 2. So how can we do that? Well, what we can do is we can multiply by 4. If we multiply by 4, this 4 cancels with this 4, 
which means we just have x plus 2 left. Okay, And we can actually do this and not change anything as long as we do it the same thing to both sides. So multiply both sides by 4. Okay, This 4 cancels with this 4 because we're simply multiplying two rational numbers and 4 over 1 times this rational number cancels out the 4 and we have x plus 2. And on the other side we have 9 times 4 which is 36. And now this is much easier. This is more like an equation that we were looking at in the past few videos. So let's see, we can solve this one by subtracting 2 from both sides. These two cancel. We're left with x equals 36 minus 2, which is 34. Okay, we're running out of time. Let's go ahead and do one more. Let's get one more in the notes. Let's say we have a minus... Let's say we have a minus x minus 1 divided by divided by 5. And this equals 1 third. Okay. So um, actually, just like above, we have um, our variables buried inside of our numerator. But this is taken a one step further, and our whole fraction right here is being multiplied by a minus sign, a minus 1. So what we can do is we need to get rid of these parentheses first, and then before we then we can get rid of our fraction bar. So let's get rid of our parentheses first. Let's go ahead and divide by a minus one on both sides. We have to do it to both sides or it won't work. So if we're dividing by a minus one, that cancels the minus signs. So we can actually just write this as x minus one over five. All we're doing is simply changing the signs of both expressions, um, the expression on both sides. And that's all we're doing. If we change the expression on both sides, we're really not changing anything. Okay, so we have x minus 1 over 5 equals a minus 1 third. And now we can deal with it like we did up here. Let's go ahead and multiply both sides by 5, or 5 over 1, whatever seems easier for you. This 5 cancels with this 5, and we're left with x minus 1 minus 1 over 3 times 5 is a minus 5 over 3. We can write this over the 1 if you want to and just multiply numerator and numerator, denominator and denominator, but when we have a whole number, um, we can simply multiply that whole number by the numerator of the fraction. And it's the same thing, it's just a little shortcut that works. Now, all we have is one step to do. Um, we need to get rid of this minus 1 so we can add 1 to both sides. These 1's cancel. We're left with x on the left side. And we have a minus 5 over 3 plus 1. Let's go ahead and convert our plus 1 to a fraction with a denominator of 3. So we're going to have a plus 3 over 3. 3 over the 3 is the same thing as 1. Now they have a common denominator, and we can subtract straight across or add straight across, however you want to look at it. Minus 5 and a positive 3 gives us a minus 2 over 3. Minus 2 thirds is our answer. Okay, we'll do more of these multi-step equations in um, future videos. We just want to kind of get the hang of it and uh, use the tools that we've learned. I'll see you soon.